My husband and I are wanting to get rid of one of our cars so that we won't have two car payments. We own or we owe a lot of start over. We owe a lot on both vehicles and if we sell we won't get back what we owe. Did you experience this at all? How did you deal with it? I should add that we don't have the money saved to cover the difference. I think this would be perfect would be the perfect way, way to start the process of getting out of debt, but we are at a standstill because of the dilemma. Well, your debt won't improve by keeping both of the cars. <laughs> We've had a lot of friends, family, people we know with the same situation, and here's what we've told them in the past. It's, it's a lose-lose, basically, for you at this point, and it's a bummer that you're there, but basically what you should do is get rid of the cars, obviously, um, but you're going to have to probably go to your credit union or bank. or bank or somebody and take out the difference. So if it's a $10,000 loan, the cars were seven, you can sell it for seven, you need to get a loan for the 3000 so they'll release the title, and you just have to pay $3,000 on a car you don't have anymore. And chalk it up to stupid tax. We have never been in there, fortunately. We've, the stuff we've owned, the stuff we've sold, we've been the other way around. We've been able to either break even or come out a little ahead. Yeah, yeah. And then you just work your tail end off to pay off that loan that you don't have a car for any longer. But that's the easiest route, you guys. And that's... It's a hard place to be in. It's, it's a hard. tough pill to swallow. Yeah, but that's how you do it. That's how you get out of it. And good for you for knowing that you have to, to take drastic measures to get this started. Yes, you do. That's how you make progress. So we wish you the best and good luck. I was just wondering that since you are now debt free, how have you adjusted your budget? Party! Oh, it's like the hanging from the chandeliers every weekend. Holla! No. Guys, we are so boring with our budget because it hasn't changed. Like his Sally Mae payment we were making, just got rolled into whatever we're saving for. And that happens to be a baby now. So, um, nothing. And which is good, because we've, we're, it's routine. We're, Our budget we're, is We're keeping on, keeping on. Keeping keep on, moving to the next thing, yes. Go ahead. What do you do for frugal family fun when you want to get out of the house? I said earlier, I mow the yard. <laughs> I'm not a big money spender. I don't ever carry money. I don't ever ask for money. I don't need money to find something to do. Um, but the kids, sometimes, if it's nice weather and they're, you know, swinging from the <laughs> chandeliers and, you know, they need to get out of the house, sometimes a cheap, easy, good thing we do is we like to go geocaching yeah. in the summertime when the weather's nice and uh, go to the park, take the bikes, throw them in the van. Take them to the park. Um, Simple pleasure. Just cheap stuff. We don't really ever spend money on it because I don't think we need to spend money on it. We go to the playground and the park and the water park and gosh, but we do have money in our budget for yeah. um, family nights and sometimes we'll go out to eat or we'll we go have out. we have a, a date night envelope which is for her and I and then we have a family night mm -hmm. envelope which is for all four of us. Yeah, we usually get coupons and we just go do whatever. Movie, uh, bowling, whatever, 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 whatever's in our Whatever's budget. in the budget. So. Yeah. How do you handle budgeting for clothes, toys for kids, and unexpected things? Also, I would love any help on a good way to organize my envelope system. I have so many envelopes and it is just confusing. <laughs> I feel your pain because it is confusing. Um... Actually, the clothes, the toys for kids are not unexpected things. The clothes we sink fun for, we set aside a little bit of money every month to save up for that. The toys, you know what? Our kids don't get toys. Nope. Other than Christmas and birthdays. We don't just go out and, like, let's like, buy a Barbie doll. No, but like, but, probably once a month or once every two months, yeah. we say get your piggy bank. We go to the store, make a special trip to the store, toy store for them. We say you've got... $16 or you've got mm -hmm. $4.50. Here's six things that are $4.50. Pick one. They buy their they toy. They buy their toy. Which is sweet on our budget. Um, but yeah, we, for, oh gosh, what would fall into those categories? Yeah, just clothes we save for. 
And I, I garage sale for the kids. I'd say unexpected things. We've been doing this long enough now, like at the beginning of the year, we'll sit down and we'll look back at the calendar from last year and go, here's the things that were I got you the unexpected. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're always going to have those. Don't get us wrong. Right. We were not perfect. No. But you can pick up probably 80% of those unexpected items for the whole year. Just learn from yourself. Yeah. Because how else are you going to get better? Just plan for them. Do, it, do your best. Do what you can. Um, and then good help. You know, I don't know how to organize. My, I have just a, a my wallet hat is from Dave Ramsey's website and it just has different pockets in it, kind of accordion style. And I just have gas and grocery and blow money and for whatever else. Uh, those are really the only three categories I carry in my wallet and it, it simplifies it. And then we have a bunch of our other just regular white envelopes for other things that we're saving for. So, like Christmas or clothes. It's pretty basic. Or, we have a pretty it, it's, dumbed down, I guess. It's not... We have a lot of envelopes, too. And yeah. We just keep it in one section, one part of our house, and that's it. So, don't confuse yourself. Keep it simple. Are you a Cincinnati Reds fan? It's weird that that question was asked because I know. when I was a kid, probably... 10, 12 years old, I bought a Cincinnati Reds hat because I thought it had a cool logo. Really? Yeah, I did. <laughs> had no idea what they were about or anything, but I just liked the hat. Um, they have a cool logo. I, don't, I would have to say I'm not a Cincinnati Reds fan, but then again, I don't know a lot about it. I don't, wa I don't watch I baseball. I'm not a big baseball fan for some reason. I don't know. I, we, I hardly watch any TV. Right now, I'm watching more TV than I have in a long time just because the playoffs are on, the basketball playoffs. But, the NBA, baby. I mean, there, I, there's nothing wrong with them that I know about, but I'm just not a fan. I don't watch enough yeah. baseball to know who's a good team and I'm who's sure. Not. Go Cincinnati. I'm sure you rock. Yeah. Yeah. But um, we follow our little NBA team, our little NBA team. When the channels, when the games are on cable. Yeah, like local, local, the local NBA team um, we will follow. But we're gone so much during the week nights that we miss those games too. So it's just hard with our schedule. Can't really follow anything. But that was a neat question. I liked it. It was a fun one. Okay, how much is your monthly income? Um, guys, stop asking this question, please, because average. we have a big sphere of people we know and friends, and we're just uncomfortable talking about our income, like probably most of you. So, uh, it, it is average or slightly above average since we've paid off all of our debt, and um, we have been really lucky. All of our needs are always met, and it's enough, so... Um, and then she said, because we have very low income, it is very hard for us. We said that too. When we started, we said that we have no income to do this Dave Ramsey financial peace plan. How are we supposed to make this work? We have more going out than we have coming in. There's no better time. You just dig your heels in and say, we're done. We're stopping. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. The world could just come crashing down, but we are not living like this anymore. Get your income up if you can. Gotta get a second job. And work overtime if you work can. Overtime. Get a do, second. Do yeah. whatever you can to get your income up. And uh, I you have know to work what? a second job. You have to work a second, but it's not. Uh, you don't need the most money to make this plan work and be successful at it. So you can make fifteen thousand dollars a year in this plan. Very successful. You can yeah. make. $200,000 a year and it's fine. Mm -hmm. It's all no matter what, your it's attitude. It's the attitude. It's not the money. Yeah. You can get out of debt no matter what. And, 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 and it drives me crazy. And we did this too. The victim mentality, you guys, that's not acceptable. Like that will not get you anywhere. I, I this is tough love, but do not think that you're the victim and that you're just never going to get out of your debt and you can't fix your situation because it starts with you gotta break the cycle you have to break it like it stops that mentality stops and we're gonna bust our butt and do whatever it takes to get out of the situation that we're in so that I would say the income you have whatever it may be is enough mm -hmm. yeah because you know what you guys we get this a lot we just can't do it because we don't make enough money and we look at you with so much hope because we know that you can okay you can do this. You can do hard things. We have faith in you guys. We have absolute faith. So hey. thank you for the 6,462 questions we had to answer. <laughs> I'm exhausted. 
throat's a little sore from talking so much, but we appreciate it. The kids still have a couple to answer when they get up. So, stay tuned. To Zoe and Grace, are you two girls sharing a room yet? No. No. Will you? Yeah. Yeah. And do you want a new brother or a sister? Sister. Brother. <laughs> Who do you think's right? I hope it's brother. A brother. I hope it's a sister. <laughs> what are your favorite snacks? Turtle um, mix. Plums and yogurt. Plums and yogurt. Plums and yogurt. Okay, what else is your favorite snack? Mm, trail mix and peaches. Trail mix. Um, uh, and you like raspberry. And yogurt. And yogurt. Grace. And yogurt. Wow, you guys like a lot of snacks. I like what she has too. Okay, so what are your favorite colors? Turquoise blue. Red and pink. Any other favorites? Turquoise blue and I like any kind of blue. Do you want to say turquoise blue? Okay, anything you want to say to your Facebook friends, your YouTube friends? Facebook or YouTube.